Serving now to stay in this match, Del Potro. Maybe. Could be the last service game of his career. And I think that might have just caught up with him, the emotion of the moment. We said it was going to be an emotional evening. Handy. It all comes down to this now, doesn't it? What a career, but is it going to end tonight? His mum, Patricia. People crying in the stands. Federico Delbonis goes through to the second round in Buenos Aires. But this night was all about Juan Martin Del Potro and what might have been the last match of his glorious yet heartbreaking career. Somebody so young to have been through so much. As he drops down. This is what sport's all about. Look at this. Zero filter. Everything coming out. Boy, you deserve this moment. Masters the field in Miami. Carlos Alcaraz shines brightest in the Sunshine State as champion of the Miami Open. In his debut in a Masters 1000 final, the 18-year-old becomes the youngest champion in tournament history, picking up this prestigious title. And he reigns supreme in the Magic City. And the emotional moments for one are emotional moments for everyone. There it is. 
It is a day Alejandro Davidovic for Kina will remember for a very, very long time. Only his second top ten win. This time, it's over the world number one. You have to give him a lot of credit. He gave it everything. Blood, sweats, and maybe this evening there'll be a few tears of joy. In the end, just out-muscling a tiring Djokovic. And he's the first man into the last 16. He's done it in two hours and 54 minutes. For him, I know he doesn't want to hear it, but plenty of positives, of course, and tears from the coach. Uh, what a moment for Davidovic Fikina. They really have worked incredibly hard together. He you know, I grew up watching Nole, and he was like my big fan. I'm his big fan, you know, and like look at him every every tournament, every 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 match. And you know, here in Monte Carlo, full full people and against the number one, I enjoy every moment, you know. I'm so happy. They have shown their appreciation brilliantly. Match point. A fabulous fall season continues for Felix. Week after week, he has been sensational. But he knows this is about his opponent, Gilles Simon. A stellar career has come to an end in just the most perfect of ways. Felix showing his appreciation. <laughs> Relief. Oh, a nice message from Ojali Yassine. Merci, Gilou. Simon. standpoint of uh, trying to always fight for the best interest uh, of the players it has been amazing thank you for that you can be proud of your career uh, best possible way to finish in, in, in your city in your country with all your compatriots uh, and, and people cheering you on uh, well done again mon ami and see you soon hello Gilles. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your last match uh, congratulations for your amazing career very long one. I think you achieved your, your dreams. Uh, a lot of amazing memories we talked about. And I uh, just want to wish you all the very best in, in your uh, in your future, no? all the best in your personal life. And uh, I hope uh, you you will have a great memory of the of the tour. And uh, we're gonna keep uh, seeing each other without a doubt because I know you love tennis and you will be around. So all the very best and. Would you believe it? He gets it done in the end, though. Takes it on the first opportunity. 
Roberto Batista Agu, after a very, very tough encounter, gets the better of Stan Wawrinka. Bautista Agu Jr. <laughs> showing no patience there. Yeah, he wants to, to get into that winner's circle, and why not? What a role model he's got right in front of him. What a great example of Bautista Agu sets. And that's probably the best part of this night, isn't it? <laughs> Despite all he's done, he enjoyed his time out there. And, yeah, he had to deal with a crowd of certainly... Taylor Fritz is the king in California. This is the Lord, six, three, seven, six. He wins his very first Masters 1000 trophy. He ends Nadal's run. And he's the first American men's champion here since Agassi in 2001. It is a day he will remember for the rest of his life made all the more special because it's come on home territory. I'm going to try my absolute best not to, uh, not to cry because I, uh, I cry when I'm really happy, but uh, I, want to, I want to thank my team. I really have one of, the, uh, one of the best teams in the world. I have my coach Mike who just cares so much and pushed me so hard. Same goes for my physio, Wolf. Uh, they just care, they care so much. And my family, all my friends that came out, my amazing girlfriend, Morgan, who's here every step of the way. And I just really couldn't do any of this without, uh, without everything they do for me. And uh, it's amazing, seriously. This is, uh, winning this tournament is just one of those crazy childhood dreams that you really never think is gonna happen, so. Thank you. Taylor, let me get this out of your way. There's that beautiful Baccarat trophy. May I present to you your 2022 VMP Paribas Open Men's Singles Champion, Taylor Fritz. We're here uh, for all of their help this week. Um, First time back in the finals for three years. Um, it's been, been a long road to get back here, but I couldn't have done it without all of your help, so thank you. I'd also like to thank my family back home. Uh, I don't know if you're all watching, but I miss you all. Hello to the kids. Congratulations, it's a nice touch. She might meet an awful lot, as you were saying, Colin, to perform in front of them. And these are just beautiful moments. Jack Lynch has spoken of his family, his children being one of his main motivations at this stage of his career, able to share these special moments with son Stefan and daughter Tara the world to them, it means the world to Novak. Safe to say, Novak is back. Quick to head over to the family, his son, part of the celebrations.